Hello, everybody. I am Zerul, your conductor for today's train wreck one episode, and um, today we're going to go ahead and work on the next part of our move. We're almost done. We've only got a few things left to do, and then uh, I got a few more builds that I think will be interesting that I want to get to. First is an update to last time. Um, I have made some progress on this. Now, you'll see what I've got over here as I've got a few trees that are built. Um, I'll tell you what happened. Um, the the uh, Despite uh, some of the comments there, um, the issue that I was having here wasn't the spacing of the trees, but it was in fact it was too far away from the um, an R node that had at least 200. You have to have an R node within four chunks that is at least 200 um, vis, and this was too far away. So I was experimenting, and um, let me go. Let's go ahead and go back down here. And what I did is I went ahead and made myself a couple of these, a, th um, a, th a thermometer, and a, the goggles are revealing there. And there is a node right here that is bigger than 200. So I decided to play around with it. So I, I took a tree first right here, and it grew just fine. And I put one over here, which what I'm doing is I'm using this to help me count chunks because this is in one chunk this was another chunk that's another chunk um, so I put one over here this one grew just fine and then I went ahead went up uh, I decided to see if height was a limiting factor which it apparently was not and then eventually whoop, I got up to here now this is a new node that I created. It took like five trees. And I placed it here, and it grew. It grew straight up. And once it got uh, to a certain point, um, I was able to get these done prior to... What are you doing here? Isn't there enough light? All right, give me a second. Die! You're interrupting. Die. Die. Thank you. Should be enough light here. Um, I was able to get these growing at a certain point. I don't know why. It wasn't growing initially until I got into the, uh, a node set up here, um, which it ended up growing right through the bottom of the, of the thing here. Um, but I was able to get this growing, and then once I got the 200, this right here is four away, and then these start growing. So, what the? How did you? <laughs> Wait a second. All right. Let's go ahead and light this area up. That should be good. That should be fine. Let's place one there. And one there. All right. That should hopefully stop things spawning in there. Why do we have... Is this truly a dark section over here? Didn't think it was. Um, so I've got these trees growing now. I haven't moved any of the equipment over yet. That's on the to-do list. But we'll, we'll get to that eventually. Um, I've got my little uh, stream area over here set up there. Um, so this is just a bunch of water. This is, is kind of expanded out. I'm not sure about this because um, you're able to see the, uh, the bottom there, but I think it could be worse. And then I've got it pouring over the edge over this end, which is going straight down. Oh, look at that. That's what we're going to be working on next here. Um, but uh, I think I need, need a little bit of flowers and a, and a couple of lily pads. I think this will come out pretty well. Let's go ahead and put these back on. And let's go ahead and throw this in storage. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go and work on our new beekeeping area. Let's get rid of that. Ah. Let's go to sleep first real quick. Hmm. Apparently that's not going to let me do that until I kill this monster. Alrighty. Thank you very much for dying. Now I'm going to sleep. Yay! Sleep. Alright. 
So. What? Ah. I can see you through the glass. All right. So. Just so long as you don't steal parts of my base, I don't care. So like I was saying, what we're going to be doing at this point is we're going to go ahead and uh, work on our beekeeping area. Now I've got a pretty simple design that I'm going to go ahead and get built. Um, this is using straight marble bricks. This is a um, shape. Now apparently it's that time of day I can't remember the name of the shape. Octagon, pentagon, something like that. Uh, octagon there, I think. Um, yeah, octagon. So it's... 15 by 15 by 15 like that um, and then on around the door I've got marble bricks and then I've got basalt bricks although they're a lot harder to see um, initially there but I've got basalt bricks that may be a little easier to see in that direction uh, not much difference there which are going to be the pillars here and then we're going to ca I'm going to cap it off at the top with uh, some more marble. This is going to be filled in with glass, glass blocks, um, or glass panes. I haven't decided which. I'm probably going to go with um, panes for down to here and blocks on top. I'm going to make it kind of a dome section there. Um, because um, a lot of the bees need access to the sky, we're going to reserve this side for machinery, and the rest of it is going to be for bees and stuff. So I think it should come out overall pretty well. So, uh, I've got the machines working an overdrive, getting me some glass. Whoa, got it in cap locks apparently. Just pull a bunch of that out. I don't need that. But I've got that. Let's go ahead and craft up another thousand. Yeah, that's good. That should be fine. That'll start cooking. Alrighty then. So, um, this, uh, I'll, just like before, since we're doing a build, I'll just go ahead and give you a uh, fast-forward montage, and uh, we'll see how this turns out. So, uh, here we go.
right, and we are finished. So, um, what we're going to go ahead and do now, let me go ahead and get to the ground here, show you what I've got. It's pretty straightforward. Um, uh, it went up, uh, I brought this up five levels uh, on, the, on the corners there. I use dirt as a scaffolding because with this claw I can get rid of it real quick, but it takes a longer time for the glass to break, so that was pretty simple there. And then I just went ahead and just went straight across that way. Um, so we've got the basalt bricks forming a lattice work, and I've just got all the glass in between there. So I think it comes, comes together pretty well. I, used, I just went ahead and used regular glass bricks because it simplified everything to, by quite a great deal. All right, so next thing is we need to go ahead and look at getting our bees over. Now, um, we are going to set up a good short portion of this is going to have dirt on the ground, or at least some of it is there so that the bees will have something to look into. Um, but let's, let's go ahead and do this. Let's grab... Let's make ourselves some apiarists. Uh, yeah, apiarist chests. Let's grab about 10 of these. And then let's make an apiarist backpack. That's what I wanted to use. All right, so. Let's make string, wool, sticks, and the chest. All right, so. String one, two, three, four. Wool one, two. Sticks one, two. So this will act like an apiarist chest, but I'll be able to carry it around and keep the bees all in that one area there. Alrighty, and then we're gonna set up a few different things. Uh, let's see here. We're going to set one up as pure. Yeah, all right. So we're going to, let's go ahead and set the, right around over here is where, where I want to put the chess. So actually, we're going to have all the machines back here. Yeah, let's just do it here. So... Five chests, six, Whoop. don't need that, and then, I think, actually I think they should be good for the moment there. We will use um, some of these for different lines, I think I'll probably just break this down in individual lines. Alright, so I'm gonna, let's go ahead and head over to our build area. Actually, let's head back to the regular base first. Because let's grab the stuff from in here. So this is our gene pool. Here is our bees. Yep, that's what the apiarist backpack gives us there. Just sucks them up automatically. So now if I check that... Good. So it only it should let me put it in there, but it doesn't suck it up automatically. That's what I'm looking for. All right. So we have modest bees. I'm just gonna pull all these guys out. You know what? Let's just do that. We're gonna use a different type of bees uh, for our honey production. We're going to focus on the Imperial and the Industrious Bees. So let's just take all this out. So I'm going to rip most of this out, and then I will see you all in a few back at the other area. All right, so um, in that first area, I just went ahead and grabbed all that stuff from the first area, and... We're back in this, uh, the top part of our workshop. So what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to install the squeezer for the honey, um, the centrifuge for the combs, um, and then a squeezer for seed oil. I'm just going to put 
those in there, and then I'll probably move these carpenters downstairs. We're going to focus the, the B exclusive machinery over there. But let's get these centrifuges and these squeezers in, built up in here. So what we're going to do here, we need some redstone conduit. I've got a decent amount there. And where... Ah, there it is. We're going to go ahead and do this. Whoops. So the redstone conduit will go this way. Let's turn that on. Whoop. Yay. Some That is actually really helpful. This is in utility mode here, and this basically lets you grab blocks, otherwise you couldn't grab correctly. A uh, little cheaty, I know, but I don't care. All right. So that is power up. That's fine. Let's put a block back down here. Cover that up. So what we're going to do is we need a two squeezers and a centrifuge. Yep. So this is the centrifuge and a squeezer and a squeezer. So this centrifuge, we're going to go ahead and set this up. Whoa. Actually, we can do this from both sides here. Let's see here. I think we need to input from the top. Cable. And then I'll grab one of these to suck out that. That looks good. And then where is the, I need some more export. Like so. Watch like that. All right, so let's go ahead and grab a bunch of combs now. Set the carpenter there. Uh, did a button come off somewhere? I have to look into that later. All right, so first of all, pumpkin seeds, followed by regular seeds. Yep. So we're, this is what this is going to be for. This is going to make seed oil. So let's set this to, first of all, pumpkin seeds, like so. That's good. With that as a secondary, that's perfect. Let's just start cranking out the seed oil here. All right, that's in good shape. Next, let's do the combs. So, parched comb, honeycomb, dripping comb, silky comb. These are going to be the first four. And let's do it in this order. Like that. All right, and then after that, let's do... Let's see here. The silky comb is getting pulled out. That's good. One, two. We got dripping, honey, stringy, frozen. That should be sufficient for our purposes here. Like that. Wait a minute. Am I doing this wrong? Yes, I am. All right, let's back up with this here. This is going in the wrong place. So let's start with the silky combs. Silky combs there. 
Yeah, that's what I needed. Uh, yeah, definitely the wrong place. Let's try that again. Throw that in there. Parched. Honey. Dripping. That should be all of them. Honeycomb. Dripping comb. Parched. Rocky. Mysterious. String and frozen. That should be pretty much all we need. So this comes back in here. Good. That's, that's making that. So the squeezer in the center is going to be for the honey. That's exactly what we needed there. We got seed oil cranking out there. Excellent. Let's throw these back in. And finally, we need, uh, we actually need a couple of levers. So this guy and that should do the job. It's gonna go to the seed oil tank. Actually, let's see if putting the liquid test rack right on it would work. I don't know if it will or not. There's that. So if we just place it directly on it, we tell it to go to the seed oil, send only, will it drain out? No, no, will not, didn't think it would. So we do need a liquid duct. So like I was saying, let's do one at a time. Like that. Good. And then seed oil, send only. Send it off. Drain it away. Oh, no, wait a minute, that's not going to work. So that is seed oil with the send only. And that's set to ignore, and this is going to be for honey. Send only. That would be draining away now, hopefully. Yep, there it is. All right, next is like that. And that's turned like that, and the honey should be draining away from there, too. Excellent. All right. And I also need to set an export on this to pull out the propolis. So let's do the seed oil a little bit differently, or the honey. Applied Energistics really makes this a lot easier to work with. Really does. Um, actually, yeah, let's do it from that side and see if that will work. I don't know if it will or not. Uh, let's go and grab a cable. All right, good, good. So it inputs there, it pulls out there. That's perfectly fine. That's working just the way I need it to. And yeah, we'll, we'll reattach that. Export honey. Honey's empty. That's not getting pulled out immediately. That's getting good, perfect. So seed oil production, honey production, and comb centrifuging is all back in order the way it should be. We can throw these back down here. Whoop. And then let's go ahead and head back out. Got a lot of teleporters. 
So what I'm doing over here um, is I'm gonna uh, where's my these at? And actually, we're gonna pull up a lot of these. So let's just do that now. So this is going to be bees to keep. All right, let's back that up here. There we go. And over here, we're going to make this Let's see here, where's this at? Bees to liquefy. Come on, modest bees, go right ahead. And let's pull these guys out. For the moment, look, we're gonna throw all of these queens in here. All of them, yeah, we don't need to worry about any drones. We'll just set all the drones ready to be liquefied, like so. So we'll set this up as our pure lines here to keep, and these will be for liquefaction. And we'll just break it up like that. All right. All right, so I think now should be a pretty good wrapping up point. We've got the building built. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and do a um, another episode on the bees here, on the different bee machines and getting up uh, a few other things set up. Um, I will may hold off until I get the last thing built. The last thing we need is we need some farms built because um, we're going to be chewing through a number of things pretty quickly. Um, also, let's get these carpenters set up down here somewhere. Yeah, I'll just put them here for the moment. I'll just have to connect them later. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get everything built and everything ready, and uh, I think we should be fairly uh, good to go. It. Um, so, uh, like I said, uh, we'll come back to the bees here after we, get the, after we get our farms built, and so that'll be our first project, full project, is the introduction of the new beekeeping machines. So, hope you all enjoyed. If you had a like, as always, appreciate it. And I hope to see you next time. So, have a great day, everyone.